Wednesday, September 12th, 2018. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Predictions for the rain volume that the Allegheny Highlands may receive have varied widely over the course of the past couple of days, from what could be termed potentially catastrophic multi-foot levels to just a few inches. Area governments and their staffs have been working and coordinating emergency programs here just in case of Hurricane Florence trouble over the weekend. For many more details, log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. The Covington City Council moved forward with approval of a $230,000 appropriation for trail and boat ramp improvements at the Jackson River Sports Complex at its Tuesday night session. Parks and Recreation Director Alan Dressler gave the council details about the future. Watch. Uh, I'd like for you to give serious thought to the development of some upscale camping in this area uh, that would be managed certainly by the Parks and Recreation Department uh, and addressed appropriately with folks coming in to visit with us. And I can see on a summer, perhaps being here in the community, camping, walking to a Covington Lumberjack game, coming back, certainly walking to a restaurant, coming back. And now a word from our sponsor. In the Department of Good News comes the word that the town of Clifton Forge and its manager, Darlene Bertram, will soon receive an economic development award from the Virginia Municipal League. Due to the town's efforts at getting the old railroad property buildings torn down and the Huff Corporation coming in with new jobs created as a result. We're selected to receive uh, the Outstanding Community uh, Award for Community and Economic Development. The project that we submitted was, in fact, um, the amazing uh, demolition of the rail yard buildings by our public works department, for the most part. Covington property owner Kathleen Downey spoke to the Covington City Council about persistent water problems due to excessive water runoff and drainage pipes that aren't in the best of shape. Listen. This, this to me is a major issue and um, it's, it, it's safety, it's economic, and it's one of the values, and it's been six years. And just, it's almost a funnel. Uh, everything from Fudge Street, uh, from Monroe Street and Fudge, or from Allegheny and Fudge, all the way to, uh, to where she's at. All that Pine Street, all that water ends up there. Covington attorney Bill Wilson told the Covington City Council that the Atlantic Coast Pipeline construction project could pollute Lake Moomaw and mess up the Jackson River unless the various regulatory agencies step up examination of its construction plans. Watch. Well, our future is tied to the, to the clarity of the water and the quality of the water and anything that we do or permit to be done that, that destroys that. Uh, is, is prime. And we'll be right back. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center is the right choice for rehab at home. Our therapy department, with the assistance of our experienced clinical team, will transition you home quickly and safely. The Woodlands Health and Rehab Center, living made better. Let's take a look at some upcoming events.
McGowan, 81 of Buena Vista, died on Monday. Bruce Martin, 90 of Lexington, died last Sunday. Nellie Fitzgerald, 97 of Rafine, died last Friday. George Kitty, 97 of Lewisburg, passed away on September 3rd. And Janice Bruce, 71 of Eagle Rock, died last Friday. More information of all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms, high of 84 and a low of 71. And on Friday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 81 and a low of 69. And on Saturday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers, highs of 79 and a low of 67 degrees. And around the region highs, Washington DC 82, Roanoke 79, Richmond 87, Norfolk 86, Raleigh Durham 88, Charlotte 86, and Cape Hatteras 89 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, September 12, 2018. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.